Thank you. The City of Columbia has partnered with Instacart to help improve access for people living in the city's food deserts. Our Sam Shapiro shares how the program plans to help many put food on the table. People that live more than one mile away from grocery stores like the one behind me here in Columbia may now have easier access to food through the GAP program. As you can see to my left, we have a food desert. You can see to my right, we have a food desert. Straight forward and behind us, we have food deserts. Columbia's grocery access Columbia's grocery access pilot program will help residents get fresh groceries delivered to their doorstep for one year using Instacart and without any delivery fees. Back in April, City Council voted unanimously to approve funding $10,000 towards the program from the Resilient Columbia Fund. The GAP program caters to those who live in a verified food desert and are also eligible for needs-based assistance. It's always a great example for how public-private partnerships can reinvent adjust, create, steal, and adapt real solutions to solve a problem together. And I hope this will challenge my colleagues and our neighbors to think outside the box. Columbia's Parks and Recs Department will help provide guidance for people enrolled to help them better understand how to navigate the technology and services. Casey Aiden Winesbury explains the support Instacart will provide that will add fuel to the fire. On our side, we'll be developing a hub on Instacart that will be for uh, participants of this program to have easy, an easy uh, landing place to sort of start their start grocery shopping. Um, and then we also, Instacart has a number of resources, including a senior hotline uh, that can help, um, that's dedicated to helping seniors who might be less familiar with technology understand how to use the app and how to order groceries. Columbia resident Bob Petrulis feels it's important the elderly and low income demographics get access to this program first. He also says having support and guidance from the partnership in using the technology will help bring healthy foods to those communities. I think it could be a great opportunity for our, uh, our residents and the fact that uh, Parks and Rec folks over in the Hyatt Park will be able to be there to help uh, you know, support folks who might be technology challenged or uh, might have difficulty navigating this. I think that's a great uh, resource as well. And now that the program is officially launched, 110 residents will be eligible initially for the pilot program. And the city hopes to add more applicants in the future. Reporting in Columbia, Sam Shapiro, WIS News 10.